In our previous video, we demonstrated how to control fixtures via the Nanlink app and received a lot of good feedback on using the app. We've also been asked by users about how to utilize the Nanlink box better in their productions. To answer this question, we would like to play the TVC for the Nanlink box to help users have a better understanding about the box's functions. We have highlighted one important piece of information in the TVC that can be a huge help for users to understand the significance of using the box in their productions. Namely, the Nanlink box has dual Bluetooth and 2.4G connectivity built in. This allows it to be a bridging device that connects 2.4G and Bluetooth in order to communicate with the app. It's worth highlighting that all fixtures manufactured by Nanguang can be controlled by the app through the Nanlink box allowing for a new and exciting control experience for all users. In today's video, we will elaborate on how to use the Nanlink box in your creations. First of all, switch on the Nanlink box. You will notice the current battery level is instantly shown when the indicators are on. They will flash in turn to show the box is working. From this, you can decide if the box needs to be charged or not. Under normal circumstances, the box has a continuous runtime of up to 15 hours when fully charged. When the four indicators flash as shown now, it indicates that the box is not connected with the app yet. In such cases, we need to first open the Nanlink app and connect the box through the interface of the app. The first connection method, select via 2.4G to add new fixture need to connect the Nanlink box will be visible in the interface. Tap for a prompt to connect the Nanlink box. Select connect to go to the Nanlink box interface. Please note that we need to select via Bluetooth to complete the connection. The second connection method. Tap transmitter box in the function section on the right to connect. Please confirm the serial number of each Nanlink box when connecting. At the same time, take note of how the indicators are lit. If the indicators are lit continuously, it shows that the Nanlink box has been connected with the app already. If it's unable to connect during the process, long press the function key for five seconds to reset the Bluetooth. If the indicators flash in a loop, it shows the Bluetooth of the Nanlink box has been reset. Then you can try to connect again. You can see the Nanlink box has connected before in the interface. As long as the Bluetooth of this box has not been reset, then you can reconnect the box by tapping the signal icon of the box. Otherwise, you will need to reconnect via Bluetooth. When the Nanlink box is successfully connected, we can then use it to search for the desired fixtures. The biggest difference between connecting directly via Bluetooth is that we need to enter manually the functions different fixtures have. We have divided fixture types into four categories, single color, bicolor, full color with GM adjustment, and full color without GM adjustment. CCT range, GM adjustment, address, and name need to be entered correctly according to the exact type of fixture. Otherwise, functionality control will be affected. Two important points here. Fixtures can only be given one address, and these need to be selected correctly on fixtures and in app. Fixtures GM adjustable need to match Kelvin range too, otherwise the CCT adjustment will be disabled. In order to let you quickly understand the functions of the current fixtures from Nanguang, we have categorized fixtures in terms of CCT and GM adjustable, non-GM adjustable for convenient reference. All the above demonstrations have explained in detail how to connect the Nanlink box and access settings for fixtures.
we have selected the Forza 500, FS300 and Evoque 1200 in the category of single color fixture. To connect and control them one by one, as shown in the video, dimming, effects and presets are controllable on the app. As for single color fixtures like the Forza 500, which only have a few built-in effects originally, single color fixtures have 11 practical effects when connected via 2.4 through the Nanolink box. In the interface for controlling bicolor fixtures, after connecting a LumiPad 11, Compact 200B and Forza 300B, When entering the interface for fixture settings, it's very obvious that the CCT range option is added compared to single color ones. CCT, effects and presets are controllable on the app for bicolor fixtures. Bicolor fixtures have 12 practical effects when connected via 2.4G through the Nanlink box. Connecting a PavoTube 6C, PavoTube 15C, PavoTube 30X and MixPanel 150 one by one as shown. Select the PavoTube 15C's control interface as an example. As we can see, dimming, CCT, hue, effects and presets are controllable on the app. Full colour fixtures have 15 practical effects when connected via 2.4 through the Nanlink box.
Please note that Pixel Control for the PavoTube X series can't be operated via the box. For Group Control, we will demonstrate by controlling fixtures of the same type and fixtures of different types. First, we will need to demonstrate how to control fixtures of different types in a group. When we connect fixtures of different types in a group, the app will automatically show common functions all the fixtures have. For example, we have single color, bicolor, and full color fixtures all in one group as shown. The functionality of CCT can be controlled. However, single color lights cannot be controlled using CCT and special effects can be controlled the same providing the fixture has them. For example, we cannot see RGB effects here, so totally 11 effects for different lighting groups. In comparison, if we connect fixtures of the same type in a group, more functions can be controlled on the app. Let's take six PavoTube 6Cs as an example. We label the address of each tube accordingly. Except for controlling all the functions PavoTube 6C has on the fixture itself, effects control and grouped effect control can also be seen. As pixel control isn't an option on each fixture, all fixtures can be considered whole. We can see very clearly in the video when set in effect mode, all fixtures respond simultaneously to display the corresponding effect in sync. But when set in group effect, fixtures will respond one by one in descending order of address to display the effect in turn. Please note that when controlling fixtures in groups through direct Bluetooth connection, effects for fixtures in the group can be controlled only when all the fixtures in the group are of the same model. Speaking of group control, not all fixtures manufactured by Nanguang can be controlled in groups when connected directly via Bluetooth. The biggest difference between connecting directly via Bluetooth is that we need to enter manually the functions different fixtures have. We have divided fixture types into four categories. Single color, bicolor, full color with GM adjustment, and full color without GM adjustment. The following models can be controlled in groups when connected through Nanlink box. PavoTube 2, 6C, FS series, Forza 60B, Forza 200, and Forza 300B. We have integrated a USB Type-C on the Nanlink box. It can be used for charging and firmware upgrades. We will demonstrate how to upgrade the firmware on the box. First, insert a correctly set up USB stick. The four indicators will flash very fast in sync, showing that the upgrade firmware has been detected. Long press the function key for five seconds to upgrade the firmware. During the upgrade process, the indicators will flash like breaths. Once the upgrade is completed successfully, the box will return to normal. If the upgrade fails, the two indicators in the middle will be lit first, then the other two indicators will be lit after. If the box fails to detect the firmware upgrade, it will act normally. Please check formatting and try again.